G'day beautiful people. Uh, we've just gotten back from our fantastic trip uh, and we wanted to show you one of the units we have bought on our travels. We finally found our water unit. Don't know about you guys, but we like to have our water pure. Um, so we don't like tap water. We've been buying box water forever and a day and it costs an arm and a leg. We finally found a unit. We found it at uh, Caranda. And uh, we thought we'd just share with you when we open the box up, see what you think. So this is the, as you can see, it's the, the Alps Super Mineral Water Pot. It's 14 litres, okay? So it's got uh, three stages in it. Uh, in the top section, I'll have a ceramic uh, section. And on here, it'll actually load hard in my glasses because I'm getting old and blind. Uh, its basic function is to get rid of dirt, sands, and bacteria. And it clears your water, of course, and gets rid of dangerous diseases such as typhoid and cholera. Uh, the second section, which is in the centre, I can see that little picture there. Um, that one there actually goes along, and it's, I mean, I could go in a whole lot of waffle here, but its basic part is to get rid of bacteria, colours, chemicals, heavy metals. Um, its patent with high technology, it blends 19 natural raw materials into one. So high pressure, so it's, it's fantastic. Then you go down to your last stage, which is, um, I don't know what the rocks are called, but it's, it's got potassium, uh, sodium, calcium, magnesium, and other mineral elements, and andesite, I don't know what that, that is, uh, functions. So it's really good, and magnetizes the water as well. So we're gonna open up the box and we'll have a look. Uh, gonna make a mess here for a minute. Take her out of the packet. It'll make more sense in a minute when we get all the bits out. Now these are all the main sections that we'll show you. Um, I think this one here is the big stir up top. This is the one that takes all the dirt and the elements out. So this is in the first stage. Okay, so that goes in the top. Your main water goes from the top bowl. Then it goes through this, of course, takes all the dirt out. That's uh, stage one. Uh, if I remember correctly, this should be, yes it is. This is really cool, this. I mean, look at that. It looks impressive just on its own, doesn't it? But that's that second stage we were talking about. And then, of course, now we were told when we bought it that this one doesn't actually stay in this container. This is just basically its carry case. Okay, so when we set it up, as you'll see, this actually, I just open this up and these go into the bottom tray. All right, so we'll keep going. Look, and look, and a tap. And another little filter there. And then, of course, oh, this is childproof, this one. Trying, <laughs> trying to separate the two, but anyway, you've got the top and the bottom. Okay, so this is the top. Okay. This is your first stage. Okay, that's the first stage. Let me just sit back here for a minute. And then this is the base. Okay, so it filtrates through the top and then goes down into the second one. Okay. And then of course you've got the base. So I'll take that little box out of the way. Okay, now we're going to assemble the unit. So what we do is of course you start off with the base. Of course the flat section with a little drill is the front. Then this, we're actually doing everything backwards. So this is actually the third stage. Well, actually the first part is actually the fourth stage. Okay, first off, you put in the tap, okay? So the tap actually has an amazing little unit. This little fella here, and this, this is the last stage. This is the fourth stage. Okay, in here, it, it magnetizes the water. So it's basically what it's doing is giving you fresh mineral water. It's mineral, sorry, mineral spring water. So that's what this little unit does, and that screws on the inside. So we've got the tap, two washers. So what we do is the room fall, just dip it in a little bit of water. Just makes it seal a bit better. Don't put too much pressure on when you do it first up. You just slowly put it in. So we just put the first washer on, so it's just neat. Get the second washer. Pop her in the hole, where's our hole? So stick it through there, put your washer on. Then we screw on the magnetizer. Sounds very cool, doesn't it? 
I've oh, broken it now. It's not going to work. Oh no, look, I fixed it. So basically what they advise is don't go too heavy handed because we are talking about a washer. Okay, I've now just put that on firm. Okay. You don't want to go absolutely nuts when you start with them. So you just sort of give her a bit of a nip every so often because if you squeeze too hard, you can split them. You can wrinkle them, do all sorts of strange shit. So you just don't go too nuts with it, okay? So that's that's fourth stage, or first stage backwards. Then we go to these amazing things, and this is the third stage, okay? So this is the second stage um, water area, I suppose. And these amazing rocks is called what they call the mineral stein. Now the mineral stein uh, mineralizes the water. It has potassium, sodium, calcium, and magnesium. And basically that's what it does. So you use the water up. So we put these in the bottle, make a lot of noise. Now they told us, oh, hang on, we've got one stuck. And they said basically you just move it around and try to find the water. So now we've got on to stage two. Okay, so now we're going to stage two of putting it together, which is the second stage filter, okay? So anyway, there's a couple of components. You've got a main cap, okay? Which sits over the, the last water tank. And then you've got the collar to this filter. Okay. This is the, uh, the most efficient filter discovered, actually. It was only a little while ago they discovered it. And it filters impurities, bacteria, colour, chemicals, heavy metals. Um, it contains all good minerals and nutrients uh, in the water. Okay. So now we'll just open her up. Take all the miles of plastic off it. Checks it. Oops, hang on. So as you can tell, we haven't done this before. So this is first off. Okay, there's the unit. Okay, just to give you another close look. It's quite an amazing unit. Okay. I'll just give her a bit of a wipe down. Because we're actually going to put water in this as soon as we get it together. So, just give her a bit of a clean. So now, this unit screws into the bottom of here. I'm going to get her in straight. There we go. Okay. So just lock her in, nip her in nicely. Okay. So that's it, so basically they've set it up so you've got the collar that goes on the top and without interrupting the water in the bottom, I can take this unit in and out of the tank. Okay, so that's stage two of assembly done. Okay, so this is now stage three uh, of assembly and of course it is stage one of the filtration. Okay, so now you've got your first bowl that the water goes into, a cap, and then of course you've got the ceramic filter, it's a high ceramic di diatomic. Okay, now the filter, what the filter's for, is the filter, the main function is to get rid of uh, dirt, sands and bacteria, and that gives you water free from dangerous diseases such as cholera and typhoid. Okay, now so the assembly side of it again, of course, is you've got another little seal, so you take off the base, And once again, they say to dip the seal in a bit of water. It just makes it easier for it to kick in, okay? So we'll just leave that sit there. So you drop it through the top, okay? And you drop your seal on. And once again, you don't go ballistic on it, okay? You just got your little collar, you screw on. Okay? And just, you know, nip it up. Don't go ballistic with it, okay? So it's nice and firm, okay? So then you drop that into place, okay, and then of course you've got your lid, okay, and that's the basic unit. Now, one of the main things they say is on the change of the filter, okay, you can change it every 6 months to 12 months depending on how many people use it. Now the main trigger to show you is that the, the ceramic ball on the top will slowly as, you, as it gets clean, because you clean it with a... A soft toothbrush is what they say. It'll start getting a bit grubby, okay? So what'll happen is as you polish it, it starts off like that, and then after a while it sort of mushrooms down to that. Now when it gets down to like this funny looking mushroom shape, it is time to change it, okay? Now depending on who is, there's only Anne and I here, so possibly we may change it every six to 12 months, okay? 
Now, the civil part is, as far as I know, it's about you know forty-seven dollars for the bottom to forty-nine dollars or something like that, about fifty bucks. So, and then the top ones about forty dollars. So it's just under a hundred bucks. And if you do a mail order or whatever they do, it's probably around about one hundred to one hundred ten dollars. Okay. So now we get to fill the unit up. Now the lady Kim that sold it to us said she just uses the lid. Okay, so I've taken the lid off, I've put some water in it, and then we just pour it in. Okay, so just to speed up the process, well, we've got another jug full of water we just filled up, just to show you. Now I can tell you too, I can smell the pour in. Yeah, anyway, it's pretty green. So what we'll do is we're gonna leave that now to run through the system. Uh, and then I'll come down to the bottom and then we can basically leave it for about 24 hours so they can start mineralizing the system. Now with the seals, okay, basically as you go along, it may leak a little bit. So as time period, you just nip it up a little bit more as it, as it goes, okay? So basically that's it. You just let that sit there. It'll <laughs> dribble through through a period of time and then we'll come back later on and we'll test the water out. Okay guys, it might be a bit difficult to see, but in the middle there you can just see it's starting to trickle through the bottom. It's taken about 10 minutes to do it. So there you go, it shows you how fast, once it starts running, it starts to fill up quite well. So there you go, it only takes about 10 minutes for it to start the whole thing. Okay guys, it's been a couple of hours now. Uh, I've filled it up probably about three times, about the third time. As you can see, it's up to here. Okay, so she's had some time in it. I would probably like the water to sit in there a bit longer, but we'll test it anyway, okay? So remember, this was normal tap water, and it's just gone through the whole process. It actually has an I don't think, has sat in the rocks long enough at the bottom, but we'll test it out. So smell test first. Can't smell chlorine. Actually, you know, it smells more like spring water, you know, water that runs down a river. It's sort of got that smell of natural spring water. Mm, doesn't smell of chlorine anymore. Yeah, it tastes pretty damn good. So this, this system for us is very important because we'll be drinking with it, cooking with it, washing vegetables with it. We do everything with it. With the, the tap is only going to get ever used now for basically filling this up. So it's pretty important to get a good system if you're really, really interested in getting all the horrible muck out of your, out of your tap. But anyway, there you go. We we'll, can we'll check it tomorrow, but I, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So anyway, peace, love, and monk beans, everybody. Have a great night.